In the last episode, I forgot to mention that if you come over here, there is a fireplace in which you want to use your bucket of water on when you have it. Just passing through since you're going to get more water pretty soon, so it'd be a good idea to use it now. Come down here and then go get more water on the way through instead of having to backtrack for it. So just grab that, some keys, fool's gold, some broccoli I think it was, I can't remember, or carrots. Yeah, I can't distinguish my vegetables, but anyway, back to the video. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Casper with me, HasD. Last episode we started Act 2 and defeated Fatso with hamburgers. Then we set out to complete the second picture and get Bullmore form. And there we go. And we also gained a very large concussion from that. And then to finish off we headed out towards the maze in order to find other pi pieces of this picture and just to complete the maze. So let's continue. Okay, starting out in the middle here, we're going to head out towards the outside again. Okay, ah, uh, backtracking. Ah, uh, this isn't the worst backtracking, it gets a lot worse later on. Don't know if I've mentioned yet, but R2 and L2 allow you to cycle through your items. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but that's just a helpful tip so you don't have to go into the menu every time you want an item. It might be quicker when you have loads of them, but to quickly get to them you can just tap it pretty quick. But anyway, here we go, we've got blue key, some broccoli. That's what the branch in the middle opened, and the switch behind the tree opened this. Which is a secret area, which can't be completed until a lot later in the game, so... I'm going to leave that for now, and move on. And I'm going to head back towards the house in order to find the rest of this picture that I've got bits of there. So let's go. We want to head to the right here, and then use ball form to bounce through this square. As you can see, there's the picture frame for our latest picture and also a switch, so if we go into our inventory, put bits of the picture in, and let's other one, other one, other one, there we go. And you can see it's forming something, but we need the last piece, so let's pull this switch and go find it. I can just imagine him going ow, 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 <laughs> as he bounces. It would be quite funny actually if we just made that sound. They added that in. Ow. Ow. Oh, not low enough. Anyway, through the vent. Here we go. And now we're going to head down here into this room, which is now open, and get the last piece of puzzle. And then head back. Yay, backtracking. Special actually. Through we go, and one more form. More head concussion. It's probably why his head's so round. He's just bounced so many times that he's injured himself. <laughs> and caused some sort of head deformity. Anyway, let's get that. And now we get this. Buzzsaw Morphorm. And a fish tuna sandwich, apparently. Which, there, I didn't know about. Anyway. <laughs> so now that we've got that, we're going to go test it out. And I know somewhere pretty close where we can do that. Bounce. Boing, 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 boing. And let's go through here and use this on this door here. So if we change into it, turn into a buzzsaw. And basically what this allows you to do is cut through those wooden planks across the doors. I don't know why he can't just go through the gaps between them or something, or something like that. Or he could even just float over these walls, which apparently have no roof to them. But whatever. I just had to cut away to do something because I realised I hadn't gone and watered a fireplace. Such a weird thing to say. Anyway, if you do what I did um, and go and access that fireplace, you've now got an empty bucket. This is probably a good time to refill it since it's just passing through. So you're going to want to go through this vent now. Iron key. A bathroom that links to a bathroom. <laughs> okay. A bit redundant, but okay. Anyway, now we're in this area. We want to head upstairs. 
since that vent won't actually let you out of here, so you're going to have to find the way out by going up here. So we've got a purple door, purple key, open the door, and uh, smoke form. should probably just scroll through them with R2 and L2, but I've got the habit of pressing triangle. So, anyway, here we go, switch. think that opens the door for us. Found a jigsaw piece. No idea what that one is, because I can't really tell from nothing. But anyway, that's another one we've started. Let's come in here. Fish tuna sandwich, as I seem to keep calling them for some weird reason. Even though it's a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> anyway, another switch. Let's open something else that we can go and find. So, let's carry on. Let's go this way. Peekaboo, I'm here. Anyway, there's an apple down here. Two apples, I think. Tuna fish sandwich. Down here, got a brass key. That's very useful since you run out of brass keys quite a bit in this. So grab as many as you can. Heading up here, you want to go through this vent first to unlock that door. Let me just search down here since they've got a habit of hiding things in this area. Don't hit anything. Let's go through here. And now we can access this room. Open that. Got another purple key to replace the one we just used. So, I don't know if you call it redundancy, but there we go. We've got, uh, now we've accessed this area for free. So, I don't know what you would call that. It's convenience, maybe? I don't know, but carrying on. Carrying on. <laughs> Let's go down here. And now we're going to have to go the long way out, since now that I'm stuck in here, it's going to take a long time to get out. And here we go. Suit of armor. Press it. Opens that gate. Press this switch. And it moves the suit of armor. Why couldn't we have just hit the button and then the switch opened that? <laughs> Didn't need a suit of armor. <laughs> to unlock a door. To unlock a switch. But anyway... Ball form through there. More head concussion. Another switch. What's this going to open? What was the point of that? You might as well just had the door open. You just wasted my time pulling a switch. Oh well. Down here, I believe. Oh, okay. There's nothing there. I was wrong. In here, another uh, sink if you want to fill up your water. I haven't got anything to fill up, so let's head this way. Go up around the edge of this room. <laughs> this switch. Leave them to laugh at us. Oh, there's an owl in here apparently somewhere. Oh, okay, that's where I was thinking. There's a tuna sandwich there. So, if you're hungry for a tuna sandwich, brass key. A tuna sandwich brass key, wow. I wonder what that tastes like. Probably quite horrible, I would imagine. Anyway, more brass keys and a carrot. wondering who puts all this food here again, it's just ridiculous how much food is just left lying all over the place, it's ridiculous, it's like, yeah, we're just, you know, let's not put this somewhere where, you know, it'll keep and it'll be nice, no, we'll just throw it everywhere, all over the house, <laughs> you know, that's brilliant, good idea, well done. Anyway, heading down here, we've just unlocked this door, and sandwiches! chair. Here we've got an empty chest and some fool's gold, some iron weights. Um, oh, another chest. Nearly missed it. Some broccoli and a hole for ball more form behind that chair. Let's bounce through there then. Boing, boing, boing. Head concussion. Through the hole. There we go. Right. In here, some more bags of gold, um, fool's gold. I don't know why they give us so much of it, since it does absolutely bugger all in this game. At least the health, if that's the scoring system, at least it, you know you can lose health or gain health, you know, and it's actually a challenge to have max he like max points on it. But with fool's gold, it's just there for no reason. It's not worth the brass key. It's a tube of glue. It works on absolutely, positively everything. If that's true, 
Wouldn't it stick to itself inside the tube so you would never get it out? How would you store it in anything? That's ridiculous. Yep, it works on absolutely positively loots the every whatever the hell he said. And we can't get it out of the tube, so, you know, it's completely pointless. <sighs> anyway, why am I complaining about the logic in this game at this point? After all the other random stuff they've done, disappearing walls, disappearing doors, um, random other things, sandwiches and things being all over the place, you know? Why should I complain? Magically closing doors, there you go, there's another one. There's brass key here. What we want to do to get out of here that way is pull the chair up and pull the chair across onto this pressure pad. I missed. And now open that, but that's not going to lead us out. Another jigsaw piece. Uh, this will lead us out through this vent. And it will take us back to here, work back to here, back here where we started. So back through the vent and we're back out again. Uh, that's another area completed, so... Well, it's not really completed, it's sort of done for now, let's say. Um, so, let's carry on. I'll just check what I've got in my inventory. Blue key. Um, I think we're going to head... Where are we going to head? I think we're going to head to... Um... I know where I'm going to head. I'm going to go upstairs and we're going to do another boss fight. Just because he haven't done really anything that amazing other than get the more form ability. So let's go through this door. Head into this room. Which is a complete recreation of the movies. Well, not a complete, but a good recreation of it. It's got the uncle's beds in here. So uh, let's open this. Brass key. Um, buzzsaw mode. Now that we've got it, we can go in here. Which is... <laughs> Where's that wood go when he cuts it? It just disappears <laughs> within itself. Speaking of disappearing, he's so flat you can't see him. Okay. Chromatic music. What for? Let's have a look. Can we need the camera? Take pictures of that so well he's in the bath. Oh god! We just took pictures of a ghost with more clothing on than normal. Okay, another missing Lazarus part. Um, yeah, that's the thing. You know, I don't know why he bothers to put the cap on considering he doesn't have any hair and it's covering up more. I don't know what you call it, ectoplasm than normal. So, you know, he's less naked than normal. I don't know why he's freaking out. <laughs> like, yep, less, <laughs> less naked than normal. Anyway, uh, that leads to something we can't do yet, so we'll come back to that later. Um, okay, uh, I think that's enough for now. I think we're coming up to my sort of video time limit that I set. So, next time we're going to go and explore the more of the lower left corridor. So, yeah, until next time, bye.